Welcome back to another episode on BHO Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a preview look at a game that is still in production but has an art style you may remember from popular games like Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and Zelda Breath of the Wild. With concept designs, contributions with many fantasy games to date, I had to jump on this preview demo for Tasomaki Behind the Twilight that was developed by Nocross and will be released by Playism. Looking to be released on April 14th, 2021, this game looks to make its debut on Microsoft Windows via Steam and GOG games and other outlets. The story so far is pretty basic with the main character Yakumi who flies an airship that mysteriously crashes in a 3D styled Far East city. In order for her to fix her ship and move on, she will need to transverse and speak to people around the city to find the parts she needs. As she does this, options and upgrades are available throughout her quest with many side quests along the way. The game is a 3D platformer and is visually stunning with their art direction and is full of colors. The main gameplay is precise and feels very loose but isn't a problem when moving around. You will platform in the beginning just to get the basics down before you move on to the city itself. The city that was in the demo is gorgeous with many platforms that will bounce you higher to reach different areas around the city. You can speak to the townspeople who seem to be small animals that will ask you to do menial tasks like tear down posters to lighting up lanterns. The city itself was pretty sparse with barely anyone to populate it at all with which begs the player to wonder if this will be a multiplayer online affair or failed later on in the game for the final version to come out later. So far there were no enemies to speak of but hints at dungeons discussed before this demo was released. As you explore the mysterious city you will be able to pick up currency to open up closed areas or to customize your character with new costumes. The game feels very relaxing thus far and is more about exploration. The visuals are simple but it's colorful and nice to look at and explore with its art style. The main character is also nice in their movements and animation. I would have liked more detail in their face as it seems that the character herself never ever blinks. Although very limited in the sound department as this is a demo, the soundtrack by Yujiko's sample track was nice and easy to unwind and very relaxing as this might be the goal of the game to truly never stress and explore a new world. I did hope to see more of a structured story and maybe some voice acting that might be in the future that will add to the whole presentation. For now, for what it is, it's an early exploration experiment that shows what the game engine looks like and is capable of. The loading was fast and non-existent that shows how easy the game is playable on PC, which leads me to believe that this might be a free-to-play MMORPG. Definitely a promising game. A good start so far for the engine that never buckled but begs the question when the city is fully inhabited along with a full storyline and how that affects gameplay and stability. A lot of questions but hopefully something special 
and uniquely different might surprise us in the future in 2021 in April. That's it for me on this preview look at an indie game coming to you soon. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.